Hey, what's going on, everybody? I want to welcome you to the rebroadcast of Transformation Church's weekend experience. And you may be wondering, why is Pastor Mike sweating? Why is the worship team behind me smiling so hard? It's because what you're about to experience is a moment when we moved out of the way and God came and sat in our service. I'm going to let you know right now that... uh, I had a message prepared, but God had a moment prepared for us where he spoke to us and we worshiped and we responded. And I'm asking you right now to to make room for the next few moments to let God speak to you. One word from God can change everything in your life. You don't want a word from Pastor Mike. You want a word from God. And as these worship songs and these praise songs go in your household, I want you to just Be free in the presence of God. Three things. Number one, I want you to lean in fully. Just go all the way in. Number two, I want you to make room in your heart for God to speak to you. He may change a plan you have. He may may redirect a decision that you've already made and make room to hear from him. And number three, what I want you to do is I want you to share this with somebody. I want you to right now, as we rebroadcast this, share this with somebody. This may be the answer that they've been looking for and needing all week. It's not going to come in government. It's not going to come in more money. It's not going to come in these friends or whatever. It's going to come in the presence of God. And today I want you to experience what we've been experiencing here at Transformation Church. Because this is a move of God. And I'm so grateful that you are a part of it. I want you to enjoy this moment with God. Because if you get a word from God, everything happens just as he had predicted. Somebody's talking about you right now at your next level while you still in the pit. I'm telling you, I'm reloaded. Come on, rip the list. I feel the presence of God in this place. This is why you rip up your list, because your name is in rooms you've never been in yet. Uh, uh. Hallelujah. Welcome to Transformation Church. I'm so excited you're joining us all over the world right now, in your homes, in your cars, wherever you are. Can you just lift up your hands or stand up on your feet as we welcome the presence of God? Come on, right now, right where you are, God wants to meet you today. We're asking him to open the eyes of our heart. Come on, you sing this with us. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. Come on, is that your prayer today? I want to see you. Open the eyes of my heart. Open the hey. eyes of my heart. Open the eyes of my heart. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. God, I want to see you. I want to see you. Come on, here we go. I want to see you. See you high and lifted up. Shining there. Shining in the light of your glory. Pour out your power. Pour out your power and love. to see you right where you are. He wants to I meet you right where you are. You. Oh God, open the eyes of my heart. Let your word be a light unto my Lord. feet. Let it be a lamp, God. So I want to see you. I want to see you. I want to see you. I want to see you.
knowing he's all surrounding He's right where you are right now. Just accept his presence into your heart, into your life. God, we give you glory. We worship you, Jesus. We honor you, God. We welcome your presence in. God, right now we're standing in a place of victory. We're standing knowing that you've made us promises and you've never failed us. Come on, I want you to declare this right now. Come on, you say it. Let's sing it. God bless the Lord with me. Hey. Bless the Lord with me. Sing it, y'all. Come on, bless the Lord with me. Oh, come on, bless the Lord with me. Come on, sing that again.
what it says. This is what it says. That's right, y'all. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Hey. Trust in the Lord with all your mind. Trust in the Lord with all your strength. Help me out, say. Be not to your own Come on, let's just about what we just sang. Right now, we're actually singing the Word of God. And what the Scripture says is, trust in the Lord with all your heart. But you see, God added a second part. He says, not only do you need to trust with all your heart, but you need to also not lean on your own understanding. Now, I started to thinking about that, and I realized, Destiny, that you can say, I trust in the Lord, but what you lean on reveals who you think is Lord. Listen, many of you, you say you trust the Lord with your mouth, but you're leaning on your 401k. You say you trust the Lord with your mouth, but you're leaning on plan B. But we're making a decision right now that no matter what comes, no matter what they say, 
We're going to trust in the Lord. Can we sing that? Come on. Trust in the Lord. Oh, no. Trust in the Lord. you came to have church today, but God is with you in the middle of that thing. Whatever is going on, whatever has been coming against your thoughts, whatever has been coming against your children, today we're declaring that our trust is in God. Would you lift your hands right now? Lord God, our trust is not in the government. Our trust is not in a stimulus package. Our trust is not in what is to come, but our trust is in you, Lord God. So right now we make a decision that regardless of what happens, we know that you're good and you're the alpha and the omega, the beginning and the end. So in the middle of it, we make a decision to put our trust in you. We love you, we thank you, and we bless your name. And it's in the beautiful name of Jesus we pray. And right in your homes, in the chat, can you shout amen? Listen, I don't know where you are right now. I don't know what you went through this week. But what you need to know is God sees you right now. Some of you have been doubting if God sees you because of what it looks like, because of how tough it's been. But God sees you in this moment. And today, I believe you're here on purpose. It's not an accident. It's not by happenstance. You just didn't happen to see that on Instagram. You just happened to, to get that link from a friend. I believe God has been lining this up all week because he knows what you're in and he knows what you need. And I'm believing that today you're going to see God in a new way. If we haven't had the chance to meet, my name is Charles. I'm one of the pastors here on our team. And by, on behalf of all of our staff and our lead pastors, Pastors Michael and Natalie Todd, we want to welcome you to Transformation Church today. Our mission is to represent God to the lost and found for transformation in Christ. And we say that every single week. But what we mean by that is regardless of what's going on in your life, regardless of how you feel and how distant you may feel from God, what I believe is God is more concerned with your progression than he is your perfection. And it would be alive the enemy for you to think that you got to be perfect, that you got to have it all together. But God uses broken people. The Bible says he uses the foolish things to confound the wise. And while you were in your mother's womb, God knew you and he had a plan and purpose for your life. And I'm believing today that some of you, this is going to be a transformational moment in your life. What we're going to do right now, we do this every week. We're going to take time to worship God through giving. So many of you, you give, you just, you go above and beyond with offering. There are different ways you can give at Transformation Church. Those are going to come up on the screen for you. You can use the app, our website, so many different ways. But what we know is giving is not a, a step that we have to do, or it's not an obligation, but it's really our obedience to God. It's really us thanking him for everything that he's given us. And, and when we do that, when we give, it actually goes into other people's lives and starts to transform their life. You see, when you give, you're faithful with your tithes, giving the first 10% of your income back to God, or maybe you give them above and beyond. Every single week, we're getting stories of people's lives who are being changed because of your giving. There's one story I want to share with you just to let you know how much it's making a difference. A young girl named Jada, she wrote in to Transformation Church. She said, you know what, I live in Florida, and honestly, my life has been really tough. She has a really rough skin condition that has actually had her hospitalized in and out enti her entire life. She said, really, I, I just felt like, you know what, there was no hope for me, that I wasn't ever going to really have a normal life. There were things I just wasn't going to experience. And she said, I was starting to get depressed. I had lost all hope, and I just thought, this is it. Like, I've tried God. I've tried to build a relationship with him, but there's nothing I can do about it. This is just my lot in life. And it's so funny how God will use technology or he'll use someone's invite. And guess what? She found Transformation Church on TikTok. Come on, some of y'all are out here just trying to do stuff you don't even know what you're doing. God's trying to use TikTok out here. 
She literally found it on TikTok, and she literally said, I started watching Transformation Church online. And she said, and then the enemy would try to come against me with thoughts of there's no hope. And then I would, I would get on, and my faith would be encouraged. And she said, I made a decision that regardless of if I'm in the hospital, that regardless of what happens, I am the minister, and there is hope for me. That's just one story. No doubt there are thousands of stories. Maybe your story, you're watching right now. Maybe you're on YouTube or Facebook or you're in another country and you're joining us. What I know is God wants to use your story. With all the pieces, with all the brokenness, with all the hurt, he wants to use it to transform lives around the world. And listen, when you give today, you're a part of those stories and I just want to say thank you. Would you take a moment right where you are, in your home, with your family, watching online, would you just take a moment to pray with me? I want to pray as we give today that God would use it that we would really make a decision to put our trust fully in God, that we would make a decision to not lean on our own understanding, to not lean on, on what we think or how we think it should go. In that scripture, Proverbs 8, 3, it says in 5, to trust in the Lord. In verse 8, it says, and then he will bring healing. Some of you, the healing you're looking for in your body, the healing you're looking for in your relationships, it's not going to come from some big thing, but God says, I just really want to know that you trust me. I want to pray right now as we give today that our trust would truly be in God and we would look to our Father for everything that we need. Would you pray with me? Lord God, we love you. Lord, and really our love is a response to your love because you're such a good Father that you wouldn't tell us to do something that you didn't already express before we even thought about you. And right now I pray for every single person that is hearing my voice right now. And Lord, even though they're hearing my voice, I pray that they would feel your presence. Lord, I pray that the Holy Spirit would fill the atmosphere of their home, would fill the atmosphere of wherever they are, Lord Jesus. And I thank you, Lord God, that we are making a decision today that we are putting our trust in you, Lord God. We're putting our hope in you. We're putting our plans in you, Lord God. And I thank you, Lord God, as we give today, that you would use it to further not just a, a brand of Transformation Church or representing, but it would be your mission, Lord God, that the kingdom of heaven would grow today. I thank you that salvation is going to happen today. I thank you that healing is going to to happen today. I thank you that, that, that marriages that are always on the brink of divorce today, they make a decision that they're sticking this thing through. I thank you that your power is stronger than anything else, Lord God. And we don't look within ourselves. It's not by power, not by might, but by your spirit. So right now, we look to you. It's in the beautiful name of Jesus we pray. Amen. Would you continue to worship with us wherever you are? Come on, wherever you are. I just love the season that we're in. A lot of us don't have anything else to run to. But I just love that the Father is present. Hallelujah. The Father is always near. He's always close. It's the time where we can run to the Father. Thank you, Father, that you're waiting for us with open arms. We thank you. We thank you. Yeah. I've carried a burden for too long on my I wasn't created to bear it alone. I hear your invitation yeah, to let it all go. I see it now. I'm laying it down. And I know that I Run to the fire, say, I fall into grace. I'm done with the hiding, no reasons to wait. My heart needs a serve, oh yeah, so needs a friend. So I run to the Father again and again and again and again, say, from the start your son for redemption hallelujah the price for my heart and I don't have the context for that kind of love I don't understand I can't comprehend all I know is Today, the reason to wait. 
some more. Just because the song is changing doesn't mean you gotta change. Come on, let's stay right there. Yeah. I trust you. Sing that, Destiny. I trust in you. 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 Trust in you. I trust in you. Trust in you. I trust. When it doesn't make sense. When my situation doesn't say so. I trust. I will trust in you. I trust.
one with God, the Lord Most High. Your hidden glory with us here in creation is now revealed in you, our Christ. Come on, sing it. What a beautiful name. Worship experience and minister to the Lord. I want you to sing every part with us today. You didn't want heaven, heaven. You didn't want heaven without. So what did you do? Jesus, you wrote. right now. Do it. Jesus, Jesus, Come Jesus. On, you know how to call on him. Call on his name. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Come on and call on him. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. One more time, one more time. Jesus, Jesus,
Just sing that one more time. Say, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, how I trust him, how I prove him more and more. Jesus, Jesus, precious Jesus. Say, oh, for I need more, 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 Jesus, more of you, I need so much more, something's happening right now, Jesus, more, more, come on, just sing that again, say, say, I need Right there in your home, just tell God. It doesn't matter where you are right now, you need more. Say, Jesus, more of you. God coming to invade our homes right now. I, I don't know if y'all feel that, but I, I feel like God's coming to invade our home. I woke up this morning and I didn't have a voice. And as you can see, there's, there's, there's a voice here right now. Thank you for praying. But God spoke to me as I was walking out here and he said, Michael, I, I needed to get your attention just for a second. He said, today I've been... I've been missing in the moment where people have more time than ever. I've been missing them talking to me. Like, like when they can talk to everybody, everybody's FaceTiming, everybody's watching the Netflix series. He said, my mom used to say it like this, he misses his time with us. And I know we've been going to God for a lot of stuff. We've been going to him with our hand out. But have we been going to him with our heart open and our mouth open? Not for what he's about to do, but for what he's already done. When we get the proper, everybody say the word perspective. 
God told me today, and I don't know, I got a word, I'm, I'm ready to preach, but I feel like the glory of God has set down in this place. There's a few of us here, but I know there's thousands of you right now online, and you're waiting for me to say something, but one word from God. I said one word from God. One moment in the presence of God can change everything. And I felt that there's one word can change everything. I just feel like we're going to worship for a minute. We might get to the word. We might not get to the word. We, is that okay if we just turn this into a, a moment for us to respond back to God? The fact that we're still here right now is, is a reason why we should lift our hands. Did you draw breath this morning? That's the reason. I think my Bible says let everything. I said let everything that has breath. Praise it. I dare you right now. Take five seconds. Take five seconds and lift your voice and lift your voice. Come on, down, play. Come on, go. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Come on, God wants to hear from you. name say Jesus Jesus you make the darkness tremble Jesus Jesus come on I need everybody in your house slip your hands out and call on his name say Jesus Jesus you make the darkness tremble Jesus Jesus you silence fear you silence somebody fear. needs to believe that say Jesus 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 Somebody right now has been gripped by fear. I feel the prophetic right now. I just, I feel the prophetic, like God speaking to me. There's somebody that has been dealing with fear. It is literally wrapped around you, your thoughts, your mind. But today, when you say the name of Jesus, it's at that name that every knee will bow. That's depression, that's fear, that's low self-esteem. Somebody just shout at me, say Jesus, just say. Jesus. Just right there. Somebody say, Jesus, say. Jesus. Somebody is moving off of your family. Jesus. At that name, things are changing. Say, Jesus. Somebody's getting their faith back. Somebody. Jesus. Somebody needs to believe it right now. Jesus. Speak it over your children. Say, Jesus. Come on, somebody say it over your life. Jesus. Somebody say, Jesus. Somebody needs to say it. Jesus. Woo, I feel the presence of God in this place. Jesus. He's invading the fear. Jesus. 
the fear of what's to come. Jesus. The fear of what is right now. Jesus. The fear that has come to drop your sleep. Jesus. We're speaking the name of Jesus. Jesus. I, I hear this. I hear this. There's some people that have been robbed of their sleep because they've been fearful of what tomorrow holds. But right now, God's saying, I'm giving you your rest again. I, I hear this as clear as day, destiny. God said, I'm giving you rest again. Today, you're going to rest for the first time in a long time. Doesn't matter about a pandemic. Doesn't matter about your job situation. It doesn't matter about your son or your daughter out there that you've been praying for. In the name of Jesus, rest is coming back to your life. Rest is coming back to your heart and your mind. Come on, just say his name. Say Jesus. Jesus. That's the name you're going to begin to declare over every situation. Say it again. Say Jesus. Somebody needs to believe it. This is the first time you're going to speak that name all week. Somebody just say, Jesus. I feel the presence of God right now that strongholds are being broken. Say his name. Jesus. Woo. Thank you, Father God. Say, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. You make, you make the darkness tremble. Jesus, Jesus. Silence fear. Say Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. You make the darkness tremble. Jesus, Jesus. Just one more time, say that somebody. Say Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. You make the darkness tremble. Jesus, Jesus. You silence fear. Say Jesus. shadows can't deny your name cannot be overcome your name is alive forever lifted high your name cannot be overcome nothing can overcome the name of Jesus sing that your name is alive that the shadows can't deny right at the place you're out. We say hey, welcome into this broken vessel. Said you desire to abide in the praise right here where we are. So everybody, so we lift our hands and we lift as we offer up as we offer up this praise unto Come on. You need a message, but God needs your worship. And we say welcome into, into this place. Mom, come up here. We say welcome. Welcome into, into this broken vessel. Said you desire, you desire to abide in the praise in the praises of your people. So we live. So we Come live on, in your home right now. This may be uncomfortable. 
to, but right now, I think there's a release coming to you as we offer. Hey, come on, mom, let's sing that. I need somebody to say welcome. we offer up to God hey, a praise without reserve because he deserved the praise a praise without fear because he deserved the praise lift your hands to the Lord yeah, and give God the praise my God is worthy of my praise, my God is worthy of my praise. My God is worthy of the glory. God is worthy. Because he sits on the throne and we bless his name. Hallelujah. And he's coming to sit right in your house, right where you are. We don't tell him to go away. We say, God, come and sit here right in the midst. 
in the name of Jesus. All my praise. All my praise. I think that there's some people that are still waiting for something else to happen in this service. And you're going to miss God sitting on your situation right now. I know you've been cool and I know you make a lot of money and I know that your Instagram is popping and I know that, that you don't really act like this. But there's a God that sits high, but he's in the details of our relationship. And the fact that you're still here means that he has been good and that he is God. The proper response to a good God is to give him praise. So I don't care how it makes it your kids feel, how it makes your parents feel, I dare you to open up your mouth. I dare you to open up your mouth. I dare you to open up your mouth. Lift up your hand and give God glory. Give Him praise. You don't need to be led at this moment. Let your worship come up right now. Tell God how much you love him. Tell him thank you right now. I know some people are about to log off, but I, I, I know what you need to do is to keep this on because this will change the atmosphere of your house right now. The husbands and wife, you're talking about relationship goals. Out of this relationship, every other relationship flows. I dare you to get your connection right with God right now. This is the point where you say, I'm sorry, God. I'm sorry that my business has taken priority. I'm sorry that my family has taken priority. I'm putting you back in the right spot in my life. Ask the God over every, he wants to hear from you right now. Come on and worship the Lord. stop watching me you better talk to him all we're doing right now is facilitating a place for you and God to God interrupted your church service so that he could get time with you right now and I dare you not to waste this moment not think oh well maybe I should go and do something else the only priority right now is your praise and your worship God, we honor you. God, we honor you. God, we honor you. God, we rely on you. We rely. There's no one like you. No one like you. There's no one like you. 
men, I even hear this right now, some men are like, I don't do that. The best thing you can do for your family, man of God, is to show them and go back to the garden. Get back in Adam's position where you walked and talked. The reason why the home and the family is so jacked up is because men are trying to do it on their own. But God said, I didn't create you to do it on your own. I created you to walk with me and talk with me and worship me and I'll give you the download. I dare you to lift your hands and say, I worship you. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I feel the presence of God right there. Somebody needs to say, there's no one like you. There's no one like you. We've searched and we found. We've looked and we found. There's no one like you. Come on, turn your living room into an altar right now. There's no one. There's no one like you. We're giving you words to sing right now. Just look up to heaven and say, there's no one like you. We can search, we will find. We can look, we will find. We can try, we will find. And there's no one like you. We can look in empty things. We can look in empty holes. We can try all the voids. There's no one like you, no. No one can love like you can, hey. No one can heal like you can. No one can touch like you can. No one can hold like you can. No one can care like you can. No one can provide like you can. It's no one like you. No one like you. That's why we worship you alone. It's no one like There's no one like you. No like we fix our eyes on you. There's no one like 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 you. In heaven, on, on earth, there's no one. The angels cast their crowns. The angels cast their Like your presence, it's nothing like your presence, it's nothing like your presence. Your presence have your way in all hearts, have your way. Come on, He's right there in your home. Your presence is heaven, He's right there with you. Lift it up. We sing, Oh Jesus, we sing.
desperate for you. I'm desperate for you. You're all I need. Hey. You're all I need. And I'm desperate for you. Hey, hey, hey. I'm desperate for you. No music. Can we lift that up and say, I, and I, I'm desperate for you. Come on, this is the cry of our heart. Somebody say, and I. One more time, something is happening right now. We're getting off of our pride and we're coming to humility. No matter how much we have, no matter all the accomplishments and the crowns, we lay them down.
Something's gonna happen right there. Say it. 
for everybody just tuning in. Uh, God has taken over this whole service. <laughs> and isn't that what we want him to do? So we're just letting him speak. You never want to miss God's appointment for your program. Like if you have a program or a plan, you never want to miss God's appointment for your plan or your program. Charles, whatever God's placed on your heart. I want to speak to, um, I want to read a scripture out of Ephesians first, and then I'm going to speak to some things that I feel like um, God is just saying over some of you watching right now. This is Ephesians 6, 12. This is what the Bible says. It says, a final word, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power and put on all the armor of God so that you will be able to stand firm against the strategies of the devil. For we are not fighting against flesh and blood enemies, but against evil rulers and authorities of the unseen world, against mighty powers in the dark places. So therefore, you must put on every piece of armor so that you will be able to resist the enemy at the time of evil. Stand your ground, putting on the belt of truth. For shoes, put on peace that comes from God, the good news, so that you will be fully prepared. In addition to all those things, hold up the shield of faith to stop the fiery darts of the devil. Put on salvation as your helmet and take up the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. There are some of you right now that I feel so strongly that specifically I want to speak to and pray over the generational curses that have come against your family. And I feel so strongly right now that there has been things that you are dealing with right now that you inherited from generations before. And the enemy has been, I hear this so clear, the enemy has been using the same weapon that he's used on you. He used it on your grandfather. He used it on your great-grandfather. He used it on your great-great, and it's been the same weapon. And the issue has been is not that, that the, you can't handle it. It's not, but your response, you've been picking up the wrong weapons. You've been picking up the weapon of success to fight against the temptation of not feeling valuable. And that's not the right weapon. You've been picking up the weapon of, of, of withholding things back and shying back to fight against that insecurity. And I hear it so clearly. God says, some of you, it's time to pick up the weapon and it stops with you. The curses that have come after your family, it stops today and I just want to take a moment and pray over you today that you would realize that your fight is not against your spouse it's not the fight is not against that 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 thing that keeps coming against you or that pressure that you're feeling it's not and the enemy is trying to get you to focus on the surface level thing but there are things in your heart there are people you need to forgive there are things that have been in your family for years and you've been using the wrong weapons but today you pick up the shield of faith today you pick up the sword of the spirit would you lift your hands right now holy spirit i thank you right now that your power is coming into people's homes lord jesus and i speak against every devil that has come against generations. Right now, I break it in the name of Jesus. I thank you that families are free right now. Lord, I thank you that lust that has pl plagued families, it's broken in the name of Jesus. Anxiety that has plagued families is broken in the name of Jesus. Small-minded uh, thinking, Lord God, that has plagued families, it is broken in the name of Jesus. And right now, we use worship as our weapon. Come on, some of you right now, the weapon you need to pick up is worship. The enemy has kept your mouth closed, and you haven't even realized it. But today, you're opening up your mouth, and at that moment, you start speaking it out. At that moment, you start th saying things. Things are shifting in your life. God, our worship is, is our weapon. Lord, today, our worship is our weapon. Lord, and even if it's not much, even if it's just your name, even if it's just you're worthy, even if it's just you're good, even if it's just the name of Jesus, I thank you that today we establish worship as our weapon. Come on, that's it. Worship. Come on, someone just, you need to write that down. That's the word of God over your life. Worship is my weapon. When the enemy comes from my mind, worship is my weapon. When the enemy comes from my children, worship is my weapon. When the enemy comes after my thoughts and my purity, worship is my weapon. Come on, let's sing that out. Worship our weapon right now. You don't even have to have any words. Say, oh, say. Worship is our weapon. Come on, believe it. Worship is my weapon. Worship is my weapon. Worship is my weapon.
hand on the neck of the enemy. Now, if you know anything about the word Judah, the word Judah means praise. Which means all of the suggestions and the lies of the enemy about your identity, about what you won't do, about how your relationships will not succeed. The only way you can stop somebody from talking is you cut off their air supply. And if it says that praise will be like our hand on the neck of the enemy, that means you can shut the devil up over your family. You can shut him up over your finances if you would just praise. I'm going to give you five seconds to forget who you were before this moment in the presence of God. Forget how much money you make. And I want us to choke the enemy out right now. Give God praise. I dare you say what's up in my way. Not ready. They didn't come to have church. But when God invades a situation, He doesn't care about what your preference is. He cares that His presence is there. And right now, some of y'all need this praise right now. Ah! Say, worship is my web. Worship is my web. Worship is my web. Say, say worship is my web. Worship is my web. Some people didn't understand, Tony, what I did when I went over to the drums. The Bible was telling us that we're supposed to praise them with everything that we got. There's a scripture that says, praise them with the high sounding cymbals. And when I was hitting that, my, my faith was that things that have been ringing in your life, when the present, y'all don't hear me, things that have been lingering, I was beating prophetically the hell back from your life. See, God. Worship is my way. Worship is my way. They don't get it yet. Say, Worship is my way. Worship is my way. Just one more time. Say, Worship. Worship is my way. Worship is my way. Say, Worship is my way. Take me to church. Whoa. It says, Praise them on the stringed instruments, too. Y'all missed that Bible verse? Praise them for me, Dom.
house to give God a shout of praise right there. No, 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 no. I dare you to give him a shout of praise. Because he's worthy. He's worthy. Yo, AD, I see people all week when stuff starts going wrong. If they're ready to cuss somebody out and they're ready to give up on their marriage, they're going to lift their hands up. They're going to put their head back and they're going to start chanting this thing right here. They're going to say, worship is my weapon. Worship is my weapon. Come on, just three more times. Say, worship is my weapon. Worship is my weapon. Not my words, but worship. Worship is my weapon. Worship is my weapon. I got the victory. I got the victory. I'm feeling churchy right now. Say, I got the victory. I got the victory. Y'all better help me right now. I got the victory. Declare it over your life. I got the victory. You didn't know we could do this at Air Force One, did you? I got the victory. Because he stretched out his arm 2,000 years ago, and we got the end of the book, it says that he went down to hell, and he snatched everything that the devil thought he had stolen and won, and he came back with the keys, and he has, everybody shout at me, victory. victory. Shout it again, say victory. 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 Now, I started to think, Charles, what happens when a runner runs his race and he actually wins. They take a victory lap. Now I know some of y'all too spiritual and bougie to do this right now, but I want you to picture something that has been having victory over you. And I want you to take a lap around that thing right now. Oh, come on, get around your coffee table right now. Get around a picture of your family right now. Get around a picture and take a victory. Say, I got the victory. I got the victory. Y'all 
across the seat of 30 people around here taking a lap. Somebody turn the camera around. I, it don't matter if it don't look professional. I want you to see people taking victory. You got it, dog? Hey, listen, you're not crazy. We're in an empty auditorium right now, and nobody's in here except God, and we taking victory laps. I dare you to think about your finances being broke down. Oh, yeah. I dare you to think oh, yeah. about your family being oh, yeah. jacked up. Oh, oh. I'm going to give you one more chance to have permission to prophetically take a lap around your situation. One. Two. Two. Let me start over. Come on. One, because some of y'all still thinking about it. Two. Y'all needed one more second. Somebody say one. Two. right there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Give him praise right there. You're worthy, God. There's nobody like you. You're not going to have the band tomorrow, but you've got your instrument. Everything that have breath. Praise the Lord. When the enemy comes to tell you you're defeated this week, you tell him, no, 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 no. I got the victory, I got the victory, <laughs> I got the victory, I got the victory. I'm feeling so churchy right now. Say, I got the victory, I got the victory, I got the victory, I got the victory, I got the victory. Some people are in your house right now, and you said, I can't get up and do all that running, but I need someone to meet me today. God's sending a word right to you, right in your home where you are. If you have to literally walk into your blessing, I want you to stand up in faith, just like that man when God said, get up off your mat. I want you to stand up in faith today and say, I got the victory. It is one step at a time. I got the victory. Whoa, 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 whoa. Say, I got say, the victory. I got the victory. Hey. We gotta go. The people, the people are getting disgruntled. But it really doesn't matter. Cause some people, if it was for one person today that needed to get free because of this praise, if it was one person that was bound, but now that testimony is. you put some praise hands in the air and say it out of your mouth I got the victory
Well, welcome to Transformation Church, where it is our prayer to represent God to the lost and found for transformation in Christ. Hey, listen, uh, one promise I'll always make you is that we will always prepare and have a plan, always, and have a backup plan too. But when the God we serve shows up and he wants to do something, we move out of the way. And I think today God did this. There's hundreds of thousands of people that came with an expectation today that we may have disappointed you. But God never disappoints. And no matter if you like this or not, God came and sat down and we, everybody say moved. <laughs> and when we move, then God can do what he wants to do. And what we're in right now is a move of God. And I'll never put a message above his presence. They missed it. We will never put a message above his presence. Y'all got notes from stuff I done preached 33,000 times and still ain't done none of it. It's okay. But one, one moment in his presence, one, one moment in his presence can change everything. And this is a move. This is a move of God. And what he wants to do is not do a move in this empty building now. The organization, he wants to do a move in the organism. And today, you're like, I thought this was supposed to be relationship goals. Come back next week. I'm going to talk to you about relationships, but at the end of the day, it doesn't matter how any of your other relationships work if this one ain't right. And some of us have not moved in a while. We haven't moved our schedule out of the way. We haven't moved our children's schedule out of the way. We haven't moved success out of the way. And God's saying, if I speak to you, would you shut down your business for a day? Well, that would be thousands of dollars. Where'd you get the thousands from in the first place? Well, there's people. God said, one moment in my presence can change the next 15 years of your life. One word from me. And that's why that song always comes to my heart, that we need a word from the Lord. We, we don't just want moments that we come together and it's fun. We need a word. Somebody put in the chat, I need a word from God. Somebody just say that, I need a word from God. And he's so good that he'll speak to your exact situation. He's so detailed that he knows the number of hairs on your head. And the Bible says, see, I have carved you in the palm of my hands. That means that my hand is on you, so it's handled. He said, I'm, I got you right here. He said, I've not forgotten you because I put you in a place where I always can see you. If you've ever, in a moment, if you think God has forgotten about you, just look down at your hand and say, oh, he's carved me in the palm of his hand. And today, I just want you to know that a word from God will change everything. As I was walking out here, God gave me a word. He said, don't preach today, worship me. <laughs> and for thousands of people, it changed everything. And I'm just praying that this would not be a Sunday experience, but this would go beyond Sunday. Tomorrow, get up and worship. Worship is our weapon. This is how we fight our battles. God's now giving us anthems right now that we can be able to sing all week long. Well, I need a message. Open your Bible for yourself. He'll give you a word without Pastor Mike. Uh-oh. They missed that one. You can get a more real revelation from just opening your Bible and saying, God, give me a word. You can have points and everything that you can preach to your friends and make your own post and do all of that stuff. We ain't going to have much of that this week because God took over. That's why we need a word from the Lord. A word from the Lord. Just one word from the Lord. We'll move all down <laughs> and cause the sun to shine. Oh. Can and give peace of mind. Sing melody. Speak, Lord. Hey! Speak. Just sing that one more time. We need a word from Come on, hands Lord. lifted, everybody, right now. Come on, just say it. Just a word, word from the Lord. My God. A 
one word from the Lord will move. It's going to move all the doubt that you have in your life. And look good. It's the sun is going to shine. To shine and give peace of mind. And we say, speak, Lord. Speak, Lord. We'll listen. Speak. For some of you, this is the moment where he wants to speak to you. If you've lived your life without Christ at the center, and maybe some of you have just been watching just like, wow, they are energetic, and my God, that's a lot of sweat, and wow, I didn't know people like got that lost, and it wasn't for a sports game or anything like that. Yep. We're crazy about how God saved us and how he's poured his grace over our life, and we're unashamed about it. You can post the clips. You can tell everybody in the world. It's all good. We're unashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ around these parts. And that's what, it's not weird. It's not spooky. It's a response. And um, today, this may be your moment to respond. I don't know how you got here. Somebody might have sent it to you. You might have seen a clip on Instagram or Facebook. Or your grandmama keeps sending you text message <laughs> to watch church with her. Whatever the case. I believe it wasn't on accident. This is a purpose step. And all of this worship was to soften your heart. And God's saying, can I come in now? Behold, I stand at the door and I knock. So God's not going to bust your door down. He's a gentleman. So he comes back day after day and he says, hey, it's me, Jesus. I just wanted to know, can I come in? I'm busy right now. I have, I have success on my mind. I have, I have my relationships on my mind. Come back another time. And because he's compassionate and he's grace-filled, he comes back again the next day. Hey, it's me again. Yeah, I've been coming back every day since, <laughs> since you were born, actually. <laughs> and I, I'm, I remember you almost let me in last Easter. But then, I know you got busy. It's okay. I, I'm fine. Can I come in? No, you can't come in right now. My house is dirty. Well, it's okay if your house is dirty. I come with the cleaning crew. I, I got my God, a Holy Spirit right here, and we were sent by the Father. And, and we actually, well, how much is it going to cost? It's going to cost you everything and nothing. Like it's going to cost you everything that you know right now. But I've already paid the bill. And so right now, I'm just trying to allow you to be, <laughs> be able to experience what's already been paid for. You can be redeemed. You, you have something waiting on you that you haven't claimed yet. And I'm sitting here every day because it's very valuable. And all I want you to do is to let me in. And today... Some of you have your hand on the knob. And you're telling Jesus, but if you come in here, it's messy. And there's abuse in the front room. And there's molestation hidden in the closet. And I have ugly thoughts about my family members. And I've been on some websites that I, I'm ashamed to say. And I haven't been the best parent or I haven't been the best son or daughter. And if you, if you come in here, you're probably going to think different of me. He said, honestly, we've had surveillance around your life the whole time, and we saw it when it happened. That's why we keep coming back, because we understand if you keep living without our assistance, it may cost you more than you know. So today, would you just, would you just let us in? I promise you that everything that you're going through I already know it and I've done it and I felt it and I took it for you and today Jesus Christ wants to come into your heart to your life to your relationships and he wants to transform you it's the very thing that took me from being a liar a manipulator addicted to pornography I had very bad things in my heart and all I did was open the door and God looked at all my crap and said, oh, yeah, this is easy. 
You can belong to me before you ever behave. And today God wants to come into your heart. If you're in this moment with us right now, and you want to accept Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior, there are thousands of people all over the world that are praying for you right now because this is the one decision that changed everything for them. And I want you to be praying Transformation Nation right now because life and death is in, the, in this moment. Right, This tension you feel right now, somebody's life depends on it. I don't care if you're a celebrity. I don't care if you make money. I don't care if you're in the slums. I don't care where you are. God says, I'll be right there with you. Today, on the count of three, if you want to accept Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, I want you to lift your hand wherever you are. I don't care who's sitting next to you. They can't save you. I don't care who you're trying to impress. I told our team, we don't want to be impressive. We want to be impactful. <laughs> Forget being impressive. What do you get for being impressive? A hand clap? <laughs> but this decision could impact your life and your children's life and your children's children's life and your children's 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 life. And today, I want you to make that decision. One, you're going to make the greatest decision of your life. Two, we are so proud of you, but more than that, God is proud of you. Three, shoot your hand up in the air all over the world. And right there in that moment, you could put your hand down. God saw that. I don't have to see it. God did. According to Romans 10, 9, if you believe in your heart and you confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ was raised from the dead and, and, and he died for you, you're saved. What does that mean? We got to repent. That means we got to turn from if we're going this way. That's all that word means is turn the other way. But today we want to pray with you. In Transformation Church, we're a family all over the world. TC Nation, I love y'all so much. And this is why our church exists for transformation in Christ. So if you made this decision, you're not going to pray alone. There is, I think on the chat, 49, 50,000 people that are about to pray with you. So everybody, come on, let's pray with those who are coming to Christ today. Just say, Father, thank you for sending your son, Jesus, just for me. Today, I give you my life. I believe you lived, you died, and you rose again just for me. Thank you for winning the victory. Change me. Transform me. I'm yours. In Jesus' name, amen. If you just prayed that prayer, there are thousands of people putting their hands to, oh, y'all better hear me, all over the world. Heaven is turning up right now because of those who just gave their life to Christ. Do me a favor. Be unashamed of your decision of Jesus Christ. Change your number today. Right after you text the number on the screen, okay? Text this number so we can give you resources and help you. But some of you, we're going to have to turn. We're going to have to get new friends. We're going to have to do things. And we want to help you. We want to walk with you. Download the TC app. Go back and watch sermon series. Some of y'all need some word. Go back and watch Charged Up. Go on YouTube and watch Planet Not Buried. Go on YouTube, watch Grace Like a Flood. Go watch the original Relationship Goals series. Go back and, and, and watch, I mean, they can watch all ty types of series. Y'all go back and get damaged goods. If anybody is right now feeling damaged, go back and watch that. And God will speak to you. He stands outside of time and we want to be a resource. We want to be your church in this time to help you grow. I love y'all. Woo. This was good. Wasn't it good for your soul? Like, this is good for my soul. Like, this was good for my soul. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, next week, we'll be back. I might be wearing the same thing. I'm going to do a redo. I'm going to do a re-over. And uh, I don't know what we're going to post this week. I don't know. Just rebroadcast on Wednesday, tomorrow. We'll do something. We're making it up right now. It's happening right now. We love y'all. Just make sure you spend time with God this week. Maybe God interrupted this so you could get off of the schedule and get into his presence. Like maybe, maybe like on Monday mornings, I, I watch my Transformation Church. Maybe this Monday morning, you just talk to God. And let's see if that can happen. Because we need a word from the Lord. A word. From the Lord, just one word from, from the Lord. Wow. To move all down and cause the sun to shine 
and give peace of mind. Speak, Lord, oh, speak, speak, Lord. In my head, purify my heart. I want to burn for you, only for you, take my life as a sacrifice, I want to burn for you, only for you. Come on, where you at? Just lift it up, say, clean my head. Purify, purify my heart. I want to burn for you. Only for you. Only Your mind is higher. You. Change my day. Take my life. You can take it as a sacrifice. Take whatever you need. We surrender it all. Lord, is my life. Say, I want to be tried by fire. I want to be purified. You take, you take whatever you need. Lord, is my life. I want to be tried by fire. Purify, purify, you take whatever you do what you want to, do what you want to, one more time, I want to be
blessing over you. I declare that this will be the best week of your life. I declare that God is going to move in your situation and whatever come, worship is going to be your weapon. Father, we bless you and we thank you for all you've done in this place today, God. I thank you, Father God, that every person's business, every person's finances, every person's heart, every person's, Father God, home is blessed in the name of Jesus. Somebody needs to receive it. We declare that you will be lifted high because we have the victory. We trust you. We believe you. We thank you. Our faith is in you. You're our strong tower. You're our anchor. You're more than enough. You are good and you are God. Have your way in our lives. In Jesus' name, go and live a transformed life. We'll see you next week. Glory to God.